Hello everyone, welcome to Rich Life. I'm your host Yusuf, and these are 10 shocking secrets King Charles will take to his grave. Number 10, King Charles dated Princess Diana's sister. It's no secret that Lady Sarah McCorkadale, Princess Diana's eldest sister, had a brief romance with then Prince Charles. But what many people don't know is the strange story behind it all. It turns out that Sarah wasn't quite sure about taking things further with him and made a very memorable statement. I'd never marry Charles if he were the dustman or the king of England. We can only assume this put an end to any potential between these two, but hey, there's nothing wrong with having standards. After all, Sarah was just looking out for her sister, even if it meant turning down one of the most eligible bachelors in the world. Just goes to show that you and your family always come first. Number nine, when Princess Diana's affair call was leaked. Charles wasn't the only one in his marriage that was unsatisfied. Diana had a boo too. It's just she was better at keeping a secret. In 1992, the world was introduced to the scandalous love story of Princess Diana and James Gilby, or as it became known in tabloid articles, Squidgygate. It all started with a secret taped phone conversation that took place between these two allegedly involved lovers five years before their affair was made public. During this call, Gilby called Princess Diana by her pet name, Squidgy, 53 times to be exact, and told her he loved her. When the transcript of this conversation emerged nearly a decade after it had taken place, so began one of the most infamous scandals in British history. Now, almost three decades later, we remember this dated drama for its true impact on royal relations. Not many people know this, and I bet Charles would have taken this secret to the grave if he could. At least Diana got her lick back. Number eight is King Charles Harry Harry's father? The rumor that's been dated back to the 90s is that Prince Harry has another father. It was no secret that Princess Diana had multiple affairs during her marriage to Prince Charles and even confessed in an interview with BBC to have been having an affair with Army Officer James Hewitt. While it may seem like a case of who's your daddy, the internet still can't get over how much Hewitt looks like the prince. Despite all the rumors, we've got one thing right. James Hewitt isn't Prince Harry's real dad. Case closed. However, this will go down as one of history's most dramatic secrets, one which we'll never be able to prove wrong or right. After all, some mysteries are just meant to remain unsolved. Number seven, when Princess Diana threw herself down the stairs while pregnant. Princess Diana struggled while trying to find her place in the royal family, and her mental health needs were not met. The royal family has tiptoed around acknowledging its failures in relation to Princess Diana, but years ago, they flat out blamed her for everything that happened to her. In one chilling report, Princess Diana is said to have thrown herself down the stairs while pregnant with Prince William. She had morning sickness throughout the pregnancy and also struggled with an eating disorder. In the documentary, Diana, in her own words, she says, Charles said I was crying wolf, and I said I felt so desperate and I was crying my eyes out. And he said, I'm not going to listen. You're always doing this to me. I'm going riding now. So I threw myself down the stairs. Unfortunately, Prince Charles didn't seem very bothered. The queen comes out, absolutely horrified, shaking. She was so frightened. I knew I wasn't going to lose the baby. Quite bruised around the stomach, Charles went out riding, and when he came back, you know, it was just dismissal. Total dismissal. He just carried on out of the door. What a total jerk. Number six, Charles and Camilla's secret meetings. Queen consort Camilla reportedly flew by private jet to rendezvous with King Charles III while he was on official overseas visits in the 90s, according to a new documentary. At the time of these alleged flights, Prince Harry and Williams' father was still married to Princess Diana, while Camilla was married to Andrew Parker Bowles. Squadron leader Graham Laurie, formerly Charles' personal pilot, who has logged over 2,000 royal flights, spoke of the pair's meetings. He revealed that they were able to meet up in secrecy when abroad due to a charter aircraft waiting for them on the tarmac before they arrived and which remained there after their departure. Though Laurie couldn't confirm who paid for Camilla's flights, sources at US broadcaster Paramount claimed at least one trip like this occurred in 1994. Number five, interrelations. The royals really like to keep it in the family. Everyone talks about their family tree, but it mostly resembles the number of times their relationships wrap around. When looking back at the reign of Queen Victoria, her 63 years and 216 days of rule became known as the Victorian era, a period even non-history buffs have heard of. The lesser known fact about our dear Vicky though, she married her cousin. The couple first met on Victoria's 17th birthday in April 1836 when she was heir to the British throne. 
and their uncle, King Leopold I, introduced them. The cousin-loving gene was passed along because as recently as Queen Elizabeth II, it popped back up. The romanticization of Prince Philip and Queen Elizabeth's relationship wasn't enough to overshadow their relations like it was with Victoria and Albert. Prince Philip was related to Queen Victoria as a great-great-grandson through his maternal side, and his future wife was related to the same queen through her paternal family. Even weirder though is sibling hopping, which of course has happened to the royal family too. Prince Charles and Princess Diana were married for 15 years, which is impressive considering their relationship's many ups and downs. However, Prince Charles dated Diana's sister first. The future couple was actually introduced by Diana's sister, Sarah, whom Prince Charles dated before beginning his relationship with Diana. While not illegal or technically wrong, that detail about the new king is bizarre. Number four, they pack their own blood. This little weird tradition started with Queen Elizabeth II and has since been passed down to Charles and even William. They pack supplies of their own blood. When I say the royal family thinks of everything, I mean everything. The scenario of needing a blood transfusion is not impossible, so the late queen would carry around blood. Maybe they have rare blood types, or could it just be that they only trust themselves? Who knows, but having an on-the-go blood supply is definitely not something you would want everyone to know, especially since King Charles is related to Vlad the Impaler. Number three, King Charles and the Cash for Honors scandal. The king was in hot water just last year in 2022. The CEO of Charles' charitable organization stepped down amid accusations that he helped to secure an honorary title for a major donor. It's alleged that he had been working with paid intermediaries to arrange favors or access to the royal family in exchange for large donations to the foundation. Number two, King Charles and Jimmy Savile. King Charles seems to be at the heart of most of the scandals relating to the British royal family. In 2022, he was associated with the prolific British youth abuser, Jimmy Savile. A Netflix documentary released on April 6th delved into the horrific story of Savile, a man who used his power as a beloved TV personality to cover up decades of abuse against vulnerable people. The Metropolitan Police estimated that the total number of victims was 589, most of whom were youths. His crimes weren't properly investigated until after his passing in 2011, despite decades of rumors and accusations. It seems the royal family always attract a certain crowd. The docuseries Jimmy Savile, A British Horror Story bears many revelations, one of which was Savile's close relationship with Charles. Director Rowan Deakin gained access to dozens of letters in which the prince regularly sought guidance from the presenter. Charles first wrote to Savile in 1986, looking for advice on reaching a wider audience. For the next 20 years, Savile served as an unofficial press advisor to the then Prince of Wales. A 1989 letter from Savile outlined his guidelines for how he believed the royal family should publicly respond to significant incidents and disasters, to which Charles responded that he had shared with the Queen. Other sources even suggest that he looked to Savile for informal counseling when his marriage to Princess Diana was falling apart. He was duped, like we all were, Deacon says. The letters show the trust that King Charles put in Jimmy Savile. He was trying to appeal to the British people, trying to modernize, and he saw Jimmy Savile as his conduit to that. In hindsight, that was catastrophic. Number one, secret son? British-born Simon Charles Durante Day claims he is the illegitimate love child of Queen Consort Camilla and King Charles and has had his requests for a DNA test ignored for years. He was adopted when he was about eight months old in August 1996 in Portsmouth in the UK, when Camilla would have been 18 and Charles 17. Durante Day claims that as a child, his adoptive grandmother, who worked for the late Queen Elizabeth II, told him on her deathbed that he was Charles and Camilla's son. In the months leading up to his birth, Charles was sent to Australia to study and Camilla disappeared from the public eye for about nine months. Mr. Durante Day claims medical procedures were undertaken during his childhood to alter his appearance, including changing his eye color and filing his teeth. In his case, he alleges King Charles and Queen Consort Camilla began their close relationship in 1965, a year before his birth certificate says he was born. Mr. Durante Day claims that Camilla kept him until he was eight months old, hiding him from the world with the help of the royal family and protection officers, and claims to have been told it was a condition of the adoption that his name Simon and Charles were not changed. However, by eight months, he was growing too big to hide, and it was arranged for the daughter of a royal household staff member, Mr. Durante Day's adoptive grandmother, to take him under her care. 
Mr. Durante Day believes his inconsistencies on his birth certificate and his name also prove he is of royal blood. But his timeline of events contradicts official records that say that the new king and Camilla met each other five years after Mr. Durante Day's birth. Thanks for watching. Those were 10 secrets King Charles will take to his grave. Stick around for more content and look around the channel. I don't know how to outro on Rich Life. Peace.